86. James Niggemeyer. 340 check in. Thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate it, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have a good one out there. You have a great day also. <laughs> Here we go. Day one. It's about 6.43. We're getting, we're getting ready to have the uh, national anthem and prayer. And I'm boat 86, and I'm doing it 340. I don't have a marshal today. But I got you guys to take with me. Um, got my GoPros ready to go. And um, got all my rods on the deck, all my loose rods. All my baits ready to go. Strike King stuff. And yeah, I'm pretty much all set. I'm probably earlier than I've ever been to take off this morning. I wasn't sure about how congested this takeoff, this boat ramp would be, and it went really smooth. The city of Leesburg really, they put in this really nice, uh, like a conference center over there, a brand new boat ramp over there. They have really, another a bathroom over there. They've really uh, rolled out the carpet for tournament angling, which is great when we see communities like that, like Smallwood State Park and on the Potomac River and uh, Dardanelle State Park there on Lake Dardanelle to just to name a couple off the top of my head so it's pretty it's pretty cool when you see that um, anyways hopefully we'll uh, get started here and have a great day hey. and there's the Glenn Chapelier the chaplain the chap attack the chap attack <laughs> inside the mouth. Oh, hooked inside the mouth. inside the mouth. I didn't see him, but he is hooked in the mouth.
Whew. Looked inside the mouth. By a skin of, by a hair. Inside the mouth. Holy. Is it him? I saw some swirling water up there ahead of the boat. Didn't even see the fish, but you know, you kind of know there's a bed, bed there. And I just pitched up my bait and just started swimming off over there. But the net job was crazy. Got to call, that's the third call I've had this morning. Most of them little. Very thankful and pleased with the way the morning's kind of is going. I'd love to catch one of these really big ones that I know are just swimming around in here, found them in practice. That'd be like icing on the cake. Something swirl over there is probably a bass. I gotta go turn around and see. First, I'm gonna check that. It's out from that bush on that grass bank. in the mouth. in the mouth. Like, pretty good, yeah. That's not good? Good day, yeah. On a day like today when nobody else is catching one. Oh!
I mean, James. you don't have to go to the gym, do you? <laughs> Not <every time. laughs> All right. Okay. Super excited with how today went. I was able to have, catch 17, 12, call a few times, and catch those couple kicker fish that made a bunch of difference in my overall weight, of course pretty pumped about how today went and uh, pretty much just caught them most almost all of them sight fishing and then a couple just pitching around a soft stick bait gonna be a big weather change for tomorrow I feel still feel confident that I'm in an area where I can still catch a few fish really gonna kind of hunker down fish slow and try to catch uh, another good bag tomorrow hopefully move up or stay up stay in top 10 or even move up so pretty excited about it put it on the trailer, go over to the service yard, and uh, just refine a couple things on the boat and get ready for tomorrow. Got back to the campground, put on some fresh line, re-rigged some baits, retied some knots, different things like that. Threw the cover over. We're supposed to have a really bad front coming in tonight. I think the low tonight's gonna be around 58 or something like that, where it was last night, I think it was like 68, 69. And then tomorrow, Kurt Dove just told me, he's camping two sites over. He just told me that, that uh, it's supposed to be like a high of 48. I'm gonna have to fact check that one, but that's kind of what he's saying right now. High of 48, uh, man, I hope that's not right. This, uh, <laughs> this is turning out to be pretty interesting because if you know much about Florida fishing, cold fronts are generally no bueno. So um, we'll just kind of have to see what happens. Uh, you know, uh, with the weather the way it's supposed to play, it's supposed to gust out of the north, like, I think at 18 miles an hour with gusts to 25 north northwest it'll be it'll be pretty be pretty dicey be pretty interesting um my plan is to go back out and sight fish pitch my little soft plastic stick bait around and flip and pitch that's that's just kind of my that's that's my game plan um i haven't exhausted all my bed fish yet i feel like there's still some left it's just a matter of going out and and catching uh, catching a couple of the right size. I mean, the right size. I mean, like the three to five pound plus. Catch a couple of those right ones to get me into that mid to high teens. So I was really thankful for today. The Lord really blessed me with this catch. A um, couple key fish that were just obviously made the huge difference in my uh, 17 pounds, 12 ounces. I believe I'm in 13th place overall. Very happy with today. As far as like catching fish, quality fish, it's it's quite, I feel like on Harris Chain right now, it's really tough to catch quality fish. When I mean quality, I mean like two and three quarters, three and over. Actually two and a half pounders are just seem to be kind of scarce. Um, you can catch some 12, 13, 14 inches, 15 inches, and then and then it gets harder to get good quality. So I'm hoping that I can get a, a few good quality bites tomorrow. And um, I'm hoping that I can catch another bag like I had today. But we'll just have to go out and, um, and fish. fish. Fish well, fish clean. Definitely be praying for wisdom, just to make the right choices on the water, what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and how I'm doing it those types of things, making good decisions. You need wisdom to make those decisions. And so um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be needing some wisdom tomorrow. Um, you know, I'd love to say that I'm gonna go out tomorrow and it'll be just like today, but anyways, that's it for now. 
I'm gonna go run to the shower, get showered, then I'm coming back. My my wife made me some uh, I forget what. But anyways, there's defrosting the meat in the fridge, and I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up, have some veggies with it, and have some dinner and call it done. Go to bed hopefully by nine, like like yesterday. Of course, I don't think I fell asleep until later, but anyways. Bears chain day two coming up.